What's good? How you guys doing? How's that number two going? Good? All right, good morning. Uh, one thing to note, other than the fact that my launch scanner, uh, this launch scanner was 1400 This Snap-on Modus Edge is $6,000. Um, note that the launch torque is wireless. I have the extension cable on the dongle so it doesn't get forgotten as easy in the car. Not that I would ever do that. But some of you guys may note that you want to put this on there so you don't forget it if you're forgetful. This, uh, <laughs> this uh, Modus Edge isn't wireless. I, they couldn't squeeze the uh, wireless capability into the $6,000 price. Uh, and that's what made me think of that too, was these, these tools up here. This is the, um, the snap-on case. Uh, I use it mostly for the scope. Or if the launch can't do something, I'll try it with the snap-on scanner and see if it'll do it. This is what a case looks like for a $6,000 scanner. And uh, show you guys. So this is this is what you get from launch for a $1,400 $1,400 scanner um, versus the the snap-on high-dollar scanner. So. Something to note for you younger guys when you're looking to buy tools and scanners and stuff. Uh, your snap-on dealer is going to promise you that if you spend the $6,000 for this scanner, it's going to be the last scanner you'll ever buy because it's so great. So eventually you're going to have to buy a new scanner regardless of what they tell you. Just keep that in mind. I'm not ragging on snap-on. Uh, actually, I'm a big-time snap-on guy. It's all snap-on stuff you see here. A lot of it. So, uh, But I'm just pointing out the truth. So you younger guys, this snap-on scanner is really expensive and it's going to be obsoleted out intentionally in four or five years by snap-on. It won't be able to take the updates, the processor won't handle it. Uh, also note that an update, if you skip one, it's $1,300 for an update. For $100 more, I bought the Launch Torque. Uh, and the Launch Torque is serving me well. It's a great tool. It does uh, a little bit of troubleshooting and stuff too. It takes you to the internet for it. This has internal troubleshooting, um, which is a, a little bit better than the scanner. You give up the wireless capability, but they both do a good job. They both serve certain purposes. I think, I think this is probably a little better on Europeans, and this is probably a little better on domestic vehicles, but uh, they both serve their purpose. This scan, uh, it's appreciated. I'm gonna do a video about my, uh, my tool cart, which is right here. You can see it, it might be a little dark over here. Video on those things for you guys coming up here real soon. But I appreciate your time. I hope the number two went well. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.